I want to do a video directed towards young women because I'd like to tell them what lies they're being taught and are going to be taught. And there's a couple of lies. And the first is, the first lie is you're going to have a career. Okay, no, a tiny fraction of people mm. have careers, maybe 2%. Okay, most people have jobs. Yeah. And the definition of a job is an activity that you get paid for because you wouldn't do it voluntarily. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, you're not going to have a career. You're going to have a job. Second, most jobs aren't very desirable. They're not very meaningful. They're not the center place for your life. And even if you have a career, like, um, for example, if you go into law, you're going to find that it's very, very demanding and very, very difficult and very, very stressful and very, very competitive. And you're not going to find the fulfillment of your of your des desire, for example, for intimate, in, intimate, close interpersonal relationships in a competitive domain like law. No. It's just not going to happen. And if you go and be a doctor, then you're going to be looking at 60 hour weeks. And I, uh, so careers are careers are exceptionally demanding. You're never done. You're always working. And jobs are are people pay you to do jobs because the jobs are difficult and unpleasant and require responsibility and dif and difficult decisions. Okay, so that's the first lie. The second lie is that career or job is actually the fundamental purpose of life, mm -hmm. and that's not true. The the most important thing in life is your family your relationship and your children. And you might not know that when you're 19 because what the hell do you know when you're 19? You don't know anything. Seven years ago, you were 12. You don't know anything. Yeah. And what you don't understand is that by the time you're 40, if you don't have a family and children, you are one lost soul. Because as you get older, you know, and I mean, I've had a very good career and it's still going just great guns. And I don't expect it to end you know, unless someone gets particularly irritated with me <laughs> for another 15 or 20 years. But I can tell you that despite all that, despite the fact that I'm absolutely fascinated by my job and my, and my, my career, and, and, I, and I'm in a very fortunate position because mm -hmm. it's an extraordinarily interesting job, ever since I had kids, they were the most important thing in my life. And as I get older, that just becomes more and more and more clear. And so Western people, Carl Jung commented about this at one point. He thought that because the, the fundamental archetypal hero of Western culture was Christ, and Christ died when he was in his early 30s, that we really didn't have a good model for the latter half of life. It's a very interesting kind of idea. But um, I, I, can t I can say with, with virtual certainty that if you're not oriented, if you're not situated with a family in the latter half of your life, you're especially if you also don't have a partner, you're one lonesome, isolated, miserable creature. I imagine and you don't want to aim rates for, for people like that are quite high, aren't they? Yeah. Well, and, and increasingly, we're going to have a society where there's a tremendous number of isolated old women who have no one. Now, that's partly because men die young, too, compared to women. Yeah. You know? But, um, you know, you were talking about this famous feminist who didn't have children. It's like not having children and you'll wake up when you're 35 if you're not careful, if you're female, and you'll think, uh oh, I don't have any time left to have kids. And that is not fun. That is not a good realization. And then maybe you'll be on the assisted reproduction carousel for the next 10 years. And believe me, that's that's like having a near fatal disease that yeah. is not entertaining. Yeah, there, there are there are plenty of um, communities of young men who know exactly what you're talking about there. And they call it the baby rabies. Mm -hmm. when a woman reaches her mid thirties and suddenly she has to have a baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's yeah, something well, well known by people who are like, you know, in the dating scene and who are who are dealing with it. And you, you get all sorts of all sorts of I mean they, they sound like academic denials of these things, but they never translate into reality. You, you know, you can always just say, Yeah, but it's actually happening as people describe it. So however you've rationalized it must be wrong, even if I can't identify why it's wrong. Because it's just not translating into what's actually, you know, being experienced well, it, by people on the ground. Well, it's wrong because there, life in some ways isn't that complicated. There, are, there are fundamental. Like people think, well, what should I do with my life? Okay, well, the first answer to that is, do what other people have always done, hmm. unless you're certain that you're exceptional in some manner. And and even if you are, you're probably only exceptional in one direction, not hmm. in all. So what do you do? Well, you. Get as educated as you can. 
so that you can make yourself useful, so that you have a skill or multiple skills that other people will pay you validly for. Mm -hmm. And not only be because of that, but because you need to contribute to your own maintenance and to the, and to the uh, what, health and survival of the broader community. Okay, so you have to do that. Get your act together. Get yourself a trade or, or get educated. Mm. Then you need a job. Then you need an intimate partner. Then you need a family. It's like, and if you miss any of those, then you're in trouble. Now, you might not think so because you might be cynical about it or, or prematurely cynical, which is so many young women, you ask them at 19, well, do you want to have children? They think, well, I don't think so. It's like, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And why people have decided that you should be some sort of authority about it is, is nothing but an index of how pathological our culture has become. You don't know anything. You're a child. You haven't read anything. You haven't accomplished anything. Your parents have taken care of you up to this point. And you, you can pronounce on something as profound as how society should be constructed. It's absurd. And it's dangerous for the, for the women because they don't understand where they're headed. And other women lie to them. They don't sit the 19-year-olds down and say, look, you know, like, you should pursue a career. You're smart. You've got something to offer. Um, and, and society needs your intelligence. But you better look the hell out because women have complicated lives and they also have to have a family. And you're going to struggle like mad to figure out how to, to balance those two things. And nobody's going to help you. 